In today's video, we are going to take a trip to Midtown and visit New York City's original full line hobby shop. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. This channel is all about model railroading in small spaces, N scale, Z scale, HO scale, modular layouts, tutorials, reviews, and running trains. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to catch all of my future videos. A short distance from Times Square in New York City is a store called the Red Caboose. It is located at 23 West 45th Street. Look for the sign on the sidewalk on the north side of the street. After passing through a selection of items in the entryway, head for the stairs to the basement in the back. Since 1946, there has been a hobby shop in this building. Originally the site of Model Railway Equipment Corp, one of the oldest continuously operated sites in the world. In 1952, this store had 14 employees. Carmen Webster ran the original location after her husband, the original owner, left. It was unusual for a woman to run a hobby shop at that time, as men dominated the hobby. She operated the shop until 1973. There were a few different owners until in 1994, the shop opened as the Red Caboose. The current owner is Mr. Alan J. Spitz. Today he was running the store by himself, but I have seen a second employee in there at times. At one time, there were five hobby shops in this area, but today this is the only one remaining. While they still do model trains in a variety of scales, they also have die-cast planes and cars, 
electric slot cars, plastic kits, model figures in many train and architectural scales, and a vast range of hobby supplies, paint, tools, glues, and also a large book and video department. While a lot of hobby shops are doing a lot of online sales, except for a simple website, the Red Caboose has a limited internet presence. but limited is definitely not a word I would use to describe the store's inventory. There's a very diverse selection from collector's items to brand new releases. While walking around the store, it is important to look up as much as it is to look down. There are products in every nook and cranny of the store. And if you cannot find what you are looking for, it's best to just ask, because there is so much to look through. I did find a few items that I was interested in. I rarely go to the Red Caboose looking for something specific, but I always find something that I did not know I was looking for. One of the items that I'm interested in is a rare set, but we could not come to an agreement on the price. While there is a diverse inventory, they are a brick and mortar location located in the center of New York City, and sometimes their prices reflect this. but I really wanted to support them during this trip. When I decided that I wanted a Woodland Scenic Status Grass applicator at the last minute, they had it in stock. Without a local hobby store, I would have been out of luck. I was able to get two out of the three items that I wanted. I still think about the third item. When I go back on a future visit, if it's still there, I might just have to bring it home with me.
I sometimes forget all that I can get locally and I'm going to try and visit the Red Caboose more often when I need to pick up some modeling supplies. I hope this has been an interesting tour of a unique hobby shop. If you saw something interesting in the video, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you to everyone in this community for their support, as well as my channel sponsors. Please support each other so that we can continue to grow this amazing hobby. I am what I am because of who we all are. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to be notified about future videos and join this community. Thank you and have a great day.